so you've been anxious for this day? Is it like one of those first days of school? Let's get, get this thing going? Oh, for sure, most definitely. You know, the first day of football is always the one you're looking forward to. It's just those, you know, later days where you got to keep the same mindset as you came in, you know, first day. Kind of off that, Greg, what's the, I know it's day one, what's the difference from last year to this year for you? I just feel 10 times more comfortable. Like, I feel like I'm in like junior year in college where I know the scheme, I know the guys, I know where they're going to be on the plays, so I just feel a lot more comfortable. You mentioned mindset. So what is your mindset coming into this year and your expectations of where you can take your game? Yeah, it's just to be um, comfortable in you know, some of those plays where I messed up maybe mentally. Um, it's to you know, correct those and just to be a better leader uh, this year, be a lot more vocal. Um, and yeah, those are my goals. What are your given expectations it? for the team this season? And are, are those expectations the exact same regardless of what kind of news you get, get on the online? Oh, for sure. You know, our expectations, you know, is just to go one and know every game. Uh, we talked about that yesterday. Um, obviously, every team should be, you know, wanting to win a Super Bowl. I mean, if you're not playing a game wanting to win a Super Bowl, then why are you playing a game? But, you know, our focus is just to go one and know every day. Um, and you know, it starts on the field tomorrow. How tough is the uncertainty, though, of not knowing if or how long you'll have, you know, your franchise quarterback? Yeah, um, you know, I don't think it's tough. Uh, we got guys preparing like they're the number one anyways. Um, like John said before, you know, Brissett is going to play like he's the number one regardless. If not, um, he's shown it multiple times in his career where he had to step in and be the number one. Um, you know, Josh can get out there and do the same thing. So, you know, Stefanski's going to have them, you know, ready to go regardless of who's out there. What's your impressions of Brissett so far? A uh, veteran. Um, you can tell. Poise. Um, he's always going to do the right thing, make sure the ball's in the right spot. Um, yeah, he's, he's been great so far. He's got a reputation kind of as a game manager. Do you see more than obviously more than um, Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, he can put the ball down the field. He throws the ball deep to Schwartz a lot um, as he, you know, goes with the twos a lot. So um, I definitely think he can he can air it out too as well. Do you, do you feel like that um, regards of if it is Jacoby, that puts more pressure on you guys defensively because obviously if they don't score any points, that, in, that increases your chance of winning. So does, does that situation put more pressure on your side of the football? Oh, no, not at all. Um, you know, the talent I think we have on this defense, uh, we're going to have pressure no matter what we feel like. You know, we want to be the best defense in the NFL. So regardless if, you know, Jacoby's out there, Josh or Deshaun, you know, we're going to have that pressure on ourselves regardless. Greg, the plan in OTAs and uh, minicamp was for you to move inside a lot. Is that still on? Uh, yeah, as of right now, I think it is. Um, you know, whether I need to play outside, inside, um, I can do it all. So, you know, whatever they need me to do that day or that game, I'll be able to do it. Play the player moving from outside to inside. That can happen too. Right? Oh, yeah, for sure. Doesn't challenge you more than knowing where you're going to be? Nah, um, you know, the way I prepare, I prepare for, you know, all scenarios, whether if I have to play in the boundary to the field, inside, outside, I know what our safeties are doing. So um, I'm going to be comfortable regardless. Miles, I think one of the last Miles has such high expectations for the team and for the defense. He just was telling us you guys can be as dominant as you want to be on defense this season. How does he sort of set the tone for you guys? And has he verbalized you know, yet just how important this season is to all you guys? Um, not himself yet, but, you know, everyone in the building knows. Um, we can take us as far as, you know, we want to take us. Um, it's just going to start off every day, you know, coming to practice, working hard, and just kind of learning each other again. We're still a fairly new group. I mean, this is year two for a lot of us together, so we're getting more comfortable, but uh, we're going to take us as far as we want to go. You said right, how, the, uh, how much does it help, though, that you guys, I mean, that's secondary. You guys were together last year. You played a lot together last year. How, what kind of difference does that make? Oh, it makes a ton, a, b a big, big difference. Um, as you can see later in the, the season, we kind of start, you know, getting together a lot more and um, working working together. So, and we're going to come in healthy. I mean, last year, obviously, you know, we had a different combinations every game. So um, now that we see that, you know, we can play with a bunch of combinations out there, I think um, it's going to, we're going to have trust in each other, and uh, we're definitely going to be ready to go from game one this year. Have you given any thoughts like just how good this secondary can be? Can, can you guys be the best secondary in the league? Oh, for sure. Um, I think that's our aspiration um, on paper. I think we can be that, but we got to show that we can do it on the field every game. Um, it, was, it, were, it was games last year where we showed we were really dominant, and then there was games where it looked like we took a step back. So we're going to 
find a way to be consistent every game. You mentioned you know, last year toward the end of the season, you guys were playing better, even with that back end, week in and week out, getting shuffled. Um, and you mentioned the combination too. Can you carry forward though? Can you kind of pick up where you left off last year uh, as, as a unit? Do you feel like it, you can kind of hit the ground running or do you think that uh, you know you might be similar to last year with takes a little while to get your feet under you. No, I think we'll be able to hit the ground running. Um, I feel like we're just a lot more comfortable with each other. Um, you know, outside of the facility, we hang out. Like, I feel like a year does a lot. Um, and just getting to know guys, you know, not even just on the football field, outside the football field. So I think, you know, going from where we left off, I think game one, we should be able to start right there. Greg, I know you tweeted about that graphic that was made ranking the best corner duos in the NFL, and you and Denzel were left off it. I guess, do you feel like you guys are maybe overlooked a little bit here going into the season? Oh, for sure. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, we've got to prove it more. Um, you know, it doesn't matter about rankings or anything like that, honestly. Uh, we just got to, you know, get our respect. And to, to get our respect, we got to earn it every single day. Um, and that's going to start, you know, at practice every day, just getting better. And then, obviously, um, We'll be able to show it this season for sure. Are you the type, kind of player that finds motivation in things like that on social media, or do you try to stay away from it once the season starts? I guess what's your mindset? No, I, I love stuff like that. I, like I, I love you know negative things uh, on social media about me um, and things like that. I think it's just gonna motivate me. Like, I'm one of those people that when I see that stuff, like I don't get mad. I get motivated. Um, obviously, if we're not on there, we're not doing something right yet. So uh, we'll we'll get there this season. So what is your mindset? Um, you know, our feeling is we're just going to, you know, pick up where we left off regardless. Like I said, last year we had some injuries happen um, where he wasn't able to play, and we got guys that are going to come and step in and play. Um, obviously, he's one of the best in the game, so we'll miss him. But, you know, he's working. He'll be back. Um, we're not really too worried about that. We're just going to focus on the group that we have right now, and then, you know, when he's ready to get back, um, we'll welcome him. We'll open up. What is on your shoulders from a leadership standpoint when you're not on the field? For sure, um, you know, but I think I just think as a group and whole, I feel like we got a lot of leaders out there, honestly. So um, I definitely want to be more of a leader this year, and that's something that I'm preparing on doing. Uh, and obviously, when he's not out there, I do have to step up and be more of a leader. So I'm definitely prepared for that. What makes you see the best in the game? I just feel like he can do it all. Um, he can get out there, press you. Um, he can play off. He can tackle when he needs to. Can pick the ball off. Um, He's almost perfect out of his break, so I think honestly he's the he's the best in the business. I know September 11 is six seven weeks away, but any thought on potentially facing off against Baker in week one? Uh, nah, not yet. Honestly, um, we know he's obviously there. Everyone knows, but we just kind of got to focus on ourselves right now. We got to get through these practices. We got to get through preseason, and then we can focus on week one when it gets here. What did you see out of Martin during the offseason program? And do you feel like he might be ready to step in and fill a role right away? Martin's been doing great. Um, like I said earlier, he came in, learned, asked questions, kind of what I did last year. Um, he has the luxury, too, of, of a lot of guys that have played a lot of football. So he has a lot, a lot of people we can look after. But you know, if he's needed out there, I think he will definitely be ready to go. Um, obviously, he has a whole training camp left, too, so he's only going to rise from there. But I think, you know, if, if he's needed to play, he will be ready to play. What do you think when you see a corner of his size? Uh, he's, yeah, he's huge. <laughs> I mean, that just, I, I think that's great for us, honestly, versatility-wise. He can go match up, you know, with a big tight end, with a big receiver. Um, he can he can move well enough to guard a smaller receiver. So um, that's only going to benefit us when, you know, we want to do different things with matchups. Uh, just catching the ball. Um, and I think it's just being more comfortable in the scheme, uh, knowing where we need to be at, where our counterparts are going to be at. That's why I said um, just this year, I feel as a whole, we're just going to be a lot more comfortable knowing that, OK, JJ is going to be right here. Ronnie's going to be right here. Grant's going to be right here. So I'm able to you know, do some other things. So I think just that and honestly, just catching the football as much as you can this offseason. How's Denzel handling this setback? And have you had to tell him to pick your head up? Or yeah, um, honestly, I haven't talked to him too much about it. Uh, all I know is he comes to meeting rooms with a smile on his face every day, still out there coaching, uh, leading the group as much as he can. Greg, the, the, the Watson chatter and speculation has been nonstop for months, as you know. How did you try to avoid it? Um, did you try to avoid it? 
I feel like, like I said, when we get in this, when we get in the building, he doesn't carry himself like that, anyways. You know, when he gets in this building, um, he's worried about football and football only. So we're gonna worry about football and football only. Um, but you know, I like, like I said, we'll let you know the legal stuff, you know, pan out the way it's supposed to pan out. But we kind of just gotta focus on us, um, getting ready for this season. And obviously, we hope D watch there week one. But if he's not, we got guys that are gonna be able to step in and play right away. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. Most def On that, is, you know, everyone's got a keyboard and phone, and opinions are expressed unfiltered. Just how, I know you said you embrace the, the haters, I guess, but just how tough and overwhelming can that be sometimes when it does get somewhat negative and, and toxic, or are you just able to brush that off? Um, I mean, my whole life, um, you know, I've been an underdog. I wasn't the high, the high recruited guy. I didn't go to the you know, biggest school, so that kind of goes along with it. My sister and my mom and my dad, they're all my biggest, you know, critics, so I'm not going to let nobody else. <laughs> That's not going to hurt me as much as, you know, some of the things they could have said to me. So um, I kind of just approach it like that and just try to use everything as motivation. What, you got mom and sister breaking down your game coach? Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. No. Really? It's, yes. Yes. Trust me, it's bad. Greg, do you sense uh, on the part of this entire For sure, um, we're one of. I feel like on at least on paper right now, we're one of the most talented groups. Um, but at the end of the day, like we said, the paper doesn't mean anything. We have to be able to translate it on the field. And I just think this off season, uh, just how we've all gelled, and you can just see the growth that we had this off season. So, um, like you said, regardless if it's one, two, or whatever it may be, um, we'll be ready to go regardless. Of what.